A communal narcissist is a person who is seeking continuous validation of their self-perceived grandiosity, goodness, do-gooderness, esteem, self-entitlement, or power, or things like that through groups of people, through organizations, through anything that involves multiple people in a situation. They'll often gather around situations where there are communal goals or communal think, like when people think the same way, right? And they will worm their way in and, and attach to that group of people in a way that is either very leadership-like, very charismatic, right? Or very helping and do-gooding. But if you really look, the entire agenda of what they have is for them to get attention back to them, for them to seek the supply that that group gives and seek the power and the safety that being within a group provides. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand narcissistic people as well as transform your life after being around them. So communal narcissism can be extremely dangerous if you are in a relationship with that narcissistic person and here's why. They have an entire group of people who have their back. They have convinced masses that they are what they want to be perceived as and you are on the outside of that even if you're part of that group as well the reason you're on the outside of that is because you know the truth and the narcissist knows it because the narcissist cannot hold the mask on with you 24 7 right so you are the one receiving all the toxic treatment you're the one who gets the gaslighting you're the one that gets all the projecting you're the one that gets the shutdown the, if they cheat if they lie if they whatever they're doing you're the one that receives all of the brunt of that everyone else gets the do-gooder everyone else gets the, the hero everyone else gets the person that the mask is representing okay and so many people have seen the good side who's gonna believe it when you call out the bad very few. So the danger here is not just in the toxic relationship that you have with that narcissistic person, but it's in the toxic dynamic that that narcissistic person has set up within the group dynamic. When the narcissist gathers followers, like there is a lot of power in it. There is a lot of safety in it for them. Basically, the, the amount of people they have around them, the number of friends, the number of friend groups, the number of you know what I'm saying? It means that they can prove to themselves that the mask that they're wearing is reality and that you're the one who's bad in relationships. But the funny thing is, every time they have a relationship, it's the other person's fault. So what's going on here? And not only that, but when they're in relationship with a person and when it's real and when there are expectations on them and when there is responsibility to the relationship or giving to the relationship they start to show their true colors they start to have over and over again repeating relationship after relationship the breakdown is the same and the breakdown comes down to them not holding their side of the bargain in the relationship them not pulling their weight and why because they don't actually have empathy no matter how much they seem very do-gooding and very altruistic the truth is they only care about what being do-gooding and altruistic gets them is this making sense you guys i'm gonna take a second here and say hit the thumbs up so if you are affected by this expect the smear campaign because that is the very first thing that they go to because why they have an entire community to use surrounding them that is the perfect place to plant the smear campaign seed right this is the unfortunate part is we have to be really strong in getting away from it knowing we're going to lose a group of people we're going to lose situations in life that maybe we also care about because not many people are going to believe you versus the narcissist the quieter you can slip away from that narcissistic situation the better and I'm not saying be a doormat here. I'm saying find a way for your life that works for you so that you can quietly get away from this person and they don't make too much noise on the outside. So if you are in a community you wish to stay in or at least peripherally stay in, you're not being smeared 
to the extreme. Okay, a narcissist being left, a narcissist, a communal narcissist is going to fall back to the community every time that they feel hurt or offended when their ego is bruised. Okay, and so it's a tricky place to get out of. And unfortunately, a lot of people do lose communities, churches, family, friends, groups of people when trying to get away from communal narcissists. Totally normal. If you need help navigating that, check out the information in the main description of every video for coaching, group coaching, or peer support, okay? Remember that the reality of the situation is that the person you're dealing with likely does not have empathy. They do not have the compassion that it takes to be in a healthy relationship. Everything about their life is about getting supply and control and power and energy from other people to fuel the narcissistic mask that they believe is their reality, right? To maintain the delusion. And that unfortunately, this is a really toxic situation and is not gonna get better by you changing anything, okay? The narcissistic person will not change. If you've been around a communal narcissist, find a place where you have validation. Speak to a group of people, speak to friends, speak to family, whoever will actually hear you. And if someone invalidates you, walk away. Don't argue with them because it is useless. Know that that person simply doesn't get it. They're believing the narcissistic delusion 100% and you need to talk to someone else because this is something that is very isolating. So know that help is out there and that there are people who get it, okay? You guys take care, bye-bye.